everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a cooking vlog. Say hi. Hi. Um, today we will be making barbecued ribs, baked mac and cheese, oh, oh, and baked beans. Oh, oh. And yeah, well we're going to get right into the video. Have and say bye. Bye. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing a cooking vlog. Um, I will be making ribs, baked mac and cheese, and baked beans, and cornbread. But uh, I have already pre-washed, soaked, and pre-trimmed my rib. This is a very big rib. It's way longer than this. I just have it folded. And these are the seasonings that I'm going to use. Some sea salt, some lemon pepper, some cavender, some garlic powder some black pepper and some lorry season and some paprika but after I get this all seasoned up I will come back And there's one more seasoning I forgot to mention. This is called jerk seasoning, Jamaican style. I'm only going to put a little bit on it. Just put a little bit like that. And then I'm going to flip it and do the other side. Season the other side with a little bit of everything. how you trap all of your flavor. If you hear any extra noise, it's just like a lot of fat on it and I trimmed some of it off but it still has quite a amount on it but yeah you just want to massage it in there make sure you massage it good that's how your rib will hold your seasoning and your flavor yeah you can put whatever seasonings you want on yours these are just what I have in my cabinet and what I know I like so So yeah, just be sure you massage it all into your rib, and then we're going to, my stove is already preheat to 350, and then we're going to throw that in the stove, and then we're going to get started on no. our no. macaroni and cheese. I'm going to be using this is one of my pans is a very old pan I've had it for many 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 years so and this doesn't fit so I might have to put it into another pan or cut half I think that's what I'm gonna do okay guys now we're just gonna put some little small slices of butter in there in all I would say two tablespoons and just cut them up and thin slices, slices, <laughs> and I'm going to cut the oh onion, and usually I'll put chicken broth in there, but since I'm putting chicken broth with to do my macaroni and cheese, I'm only going to put water, 
And then when you do your iron, you don't have to use big pieces. Like, I don't use big pieces because my kids don't like big pieces. Oh, Grandma's going iron. crazy. Daddy, Grandma's going crazy. Yeah. Mommy, a Grandma's yes. going crazy. Oh, okay. Um, you guys, my kids are watching a scary movie, so you might hear them come back and forth telling stuff about the movie a lot. Heaven, say, say hi. Hi. <laughs> And their dad is holding the camera Daddy. for me. So, you might hear them talking to him a lot, too. Bye. Ah. I'm just going to cut slices Bye. of cheese. And I don't like the ends of onions. I don't know why. I just don't. And just throw it over in there like that. You know. Having onion just gives it flavor. If I had some peppers, I would have put, you know, a couple peppers in here, green, red, you know, just to, to give it some color and some flavor, some nice juices. I will have the recipe in the description down below on exact measurements and things like that for anybody who wants to try this recipe once again you know you do it however you want this is just how i do it for my house because this is the way that we like it and then i'm gonna add some cups of water and i always use the one like this which is one cup to add my water in no, just take your water straight from the sink over. You don't want to pour it on top of the rib because it will take your flavor and your seasoning off if you just pour it right on top. So you got to put it in for my video. Just cut short. That is roughly three cups of water. And now it's going to go inside of the stove. I will do covered and uncovered. I will do covered and un uncovered. I'm going to do uncovered for an hour and then covered for probably like another 30 minutes because I like mine to be falling off of the bone. So after that, we'll come back. I'll show you all how this final product looks. Hey guys, so I'm back now. I am making my mac and cheese. And I use chicken broth instead of water. Sometimes I use milk, but for this recipe, I will be using chicken broth. Chicken broth just gives it more flavor. That's all. Now, since this is a just a quick dinner, I will be using the deluxe mac and cheese box. Incorporate it into my baked mac and cheese because it's easier, it's faster. But if you was doing like a family gathering or a big family reunion or something, then I would consider making it from scratch. But if it's just for you, your household, for dinner that night, this is the easiest, quickest way to go. So I'm just gonna open this up, you know, pour the noodles over. And I like to let my noodles and my chicken broth fall together. So the flavor can be into my noodles. Add just a little bit more chicken broth to where it covers my noodles. So that's probably like this whole bottom. And this was a two pound, 32 ounce.